Hello, and welcome to Pearson Live Chat, a synchronous video tool that allows you to connect with other students online to complete communication practice activities. This short video will walk you through how to complete activities powered by Pearson Live Chat in your MyLab course. In addition to watching this video, it is important to run the Live Chat browser check before beginning as the system requirements for Live Chat activities differ slightly from the rest of your course. The browser check is available at mylanguagelabs.com and is also linked to directly from your course. Live Chat activities will be assigned via the calendar or made available to you in your course as part of an activity or assignment. The activity will contain directions on your assignment followed by the live chat tool. It is up to your instructor whether he or she would like to assign groups or partners in class or whether you need to find a partner or partners yourself. Either way, it is a good idea to have your team selected before you plan to chat and to agree upon a time when you will meet up online to record your conversation and submit the activity. In each live chat, there will be two distinct roles the role of the chat leader and that of the chat participant. The chat leader is responsible for starting the chat, inviting and approving participants, and starting and stopping the recording. Chat leaders will be the only ones to see the record button in live chat. A chat participant joins a chat either by accepting an invitation or by joining and being admitted into an existing chat. The chat participant is not able to control the recording and will therefore not see a record button. It's a good idea to decide who will be the leader of your chat before you begin. Let's start by walking through the chat leader experience. If you have been designated as the leader of your chat, your first step is to launch the activity, read the instructions, and then click Create Room. Once you are in the room, you will see yourself here in the main screen. You will also be able to see a list of your classmates who are currently online and logged into their course in the Who's Online window. The moment you create your room, it becomes available for your classmates to join, so it is possible that at this point, your partner may request to join without invitation. But if you did not plan a time to meet with your partner, another way to get chatting is to send an invitation to any of your classmates who are online. Your classmates are online and available if they appear in this list with a green dot next to their name. A red or yellow dot means that your classmate is online but not available for chatting right now. Once invited, your classmate will receive an invitation and will be given the choice to join, decline, or snooze your invitation. Any participants who join will be displayed along the top of the chat window here. Up to five participants may join your chat the written chat tool can be especially helpful in a case where audio is not working for somebody. Your instructor will let you know if your written chats will be recorded. You will be able to chat orally or by using the written chat tool right away with the other people in the room, but the chat will not be recorded until the chat leader, us in this case, clicks the record button. This gives you a chance to discuss what you will say and even have a practice run before you actually record. Are you ready to get started? Ready. When you have started the recording, all members of the chat will see this icon showing that you are recording. When the recording has begun, it is no longer possible for other students to join the chat. When you have finished your chat, the chat leader clicks stop. There will be an indicator that the recording has stopped and then you will all still be in the room together just like you were before the chat began. This is a great time to check in with your partner or partners to make sure you all feel comfortable with this as the recording that will be submitted to your instructor. You can review your recording before you submit by clicking on this icon. In this case, we are happy with our recording, so we don't want to record a new one. If we wanted to record a new chat, the chat leader would delete the recording we just made and we would start again. When you are ready to submit the recording, the chat leader should click Submit first. At this point, all other participants get a notification that it is time to submit and should do so as well. All students need to click Submit in order to get a grade. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to our friends and click Submit for grading. That's it, we're done. 
Our recording will now be submitted to our instructor for review and grading. When your instructor grades your work, you will get a notification on your Today's View under Instructor Comments and your pending grade will change to a score in your gradebook. Now, let's take a quick look at what this process looks like when we are the chat participant. If a room has already been opened for an activity, then we see the options to create a new chat room, which we just did a few minutes ago. That would make us the chat leader again. Or, we can click on join an existing chat room and find our classmate with whom we wish to complete the assignment. Another way to enter an existing chat is to be invited into that chat. In this process, you will first need to be logged into your course. You will then receive a pop-up notification that you have an invitation and can choose to join, decline, or snooze the invitation for a few minutes while you finish something up. If you choose to accept the invitation, you will be brought directly to the activity and chat room to which you were invited. This is a quick look at the viewpoint of a chat participant. Note, we do not have the who's online list or the ability to invite participants, and we do not have any recording controls. Are you guys ready? Ready. Ready. Now we are recording as indicated by the icon. And now the recording has stopped. I can still review the recording as the participant. And I also have the text chat as the participant. Again, we will confirm that we are happy with our work. The chat leader will click submit first and any participants, that's us, should also submit. Our recordings have been submitted to our instructor and will be pending instructor grading. So, let's do a quick review of some of the tips we have learned. One, it is a good idea to pick a partner or partners in advance and plan a time when you will meet to complete your assignment. Two, it is a good idea to decide who will be the chat leader and who will be the chat participants. Three, the leader is responsible for creating the room and controlling the recording. Four, when you have completed the assignment, make sure everybody is happy with their work. Five, Everybody involved in the chat must click submit in order to get a grade. And that is the Pearson Live Chat video tool in a nutshell. We hope this has been helpful and that you have fun while learning with Live Chat.